Palisades Weather on the Aids with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Hi everyone, good morning. I wanted to give you the latest on Hurricane Arthur. Just became a hurricane at 5 o'clock this morning. Right now it's moving to the north at 9 miles per hour. Current sustained wind 75 miles per hour, so a weak Category 1, and it is expected to stay at Category 1 status. Take a look at these red boxes here right along the Hatteras Coast, the coast of North Carolina. That is a hurricane warning in effect as Arthur brushes that coastline later on today into tonight. The tropical track brings it right across the Carolinas and takes it way out to Sea, so it will not directly impact our coastlines here. However, if you are headed to the beaches, I'd stay out of the water for uh, tomorrow and Saturday as the waves will be rather choppy, very rough surf, and there could be rip currents as well. Here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast from Sealands Grove today. A mix of clouds and sunshine, scattered strong to even severe thunderstorms possible this afternoon and evening. What that means is we could see strong damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, and possible hail in any of the storms that develop. Today's highs should be right around 90. Tonight, mostly cloudy areas of rain continue as the cold front sweeps through, but it won't be as muggy, 66 to 70 overnight. Then tomorrow, rain early. By early, I mean 7, 8, 9 o'clock at the latest. We sweep it out of here as that cold front moves offshore. It'll be breezy and cooler, definitely more comfortable tomorrow afternoon with highs in the low 80s. York right now, a beautiful picture, but a muggy morning. It's 70 degrees, dew points right around 70 as well with calm winds. Other spots include 72 Gettysburg, 72 Reading, Lancaster's at 72, Coates Hill 72, our popular number. But check out Lewistown, 66 right now, one of our coolest spots. Dew points aren't going to be slow to fall. They'll still be in the 70s today. So when we have dew points in the 70s, there's a lot of juice to work with in the atmosphere. And any storm that does develop will put down heavy rain in a short period of time. Live on Super Doppler 8, we had a couple of uh, strong thunderstorms just over the past couple of hours. You can see them bubbling up here, mainly through Chester County and then off toward the Philadelphia area. For us, we should stay dry across the region for the morning commute. We still have that cold front, though, out to the west, and this is what we're focused on today. Ahead of that front, strong to severe thunderstorms will break out again in the afternoon and this evening. So stay weather aware. We'll keep you alert, especially on social media. Take a look. Predictor here says scattered showers, thunderstorms likely for us. As this cold front passes early tomorrow, I have to keep in the threat of rain early. This is 8 a.m. But then look at this. It takes Arthur out to sea, sweeps off the East Coast, and fireworks displays should go off without a hitch weatherwise. Friday night, beautiful. Saturday, Sunday, gorgeous. This high pressure sits right on top of us, and this area of high pressure will keep the clouds away and keep conditions very comfortable. Highs in the 80s. Fireworks forecast for tomorrow right around dusk. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Clear, comfortable, couldn't ask for better weather. Extended forecast shows temperatures this weekend in the 80s with lows in the 60s. And next week gets a little hotter, gets a little more humid with showers and thunderstorms back in there Tuesday into Wednesday. All right. Really nice Beautiful. weather. That sounds perfect, yeah. Weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. A yeah. gift. We've had our eyes on it. We were hoping that Arthur would stay you know, out to sea, and it has. The track is still on track, if you will. <laughs> a holiday even from the humidity, which that's good. Yes. Yeah. That's a good point. All right, Christine, thanks. Thank you.